Hi there, I'm Eleanor from Wine Titles Media. A few weeks ago, our work placement student Beth and I went to Mildura for a few days to shine a light on the Sunraysia region and what's happening in the wine industry. In the video you're about to watch, we went to Australian Vintage's Baronga Hill Winery and we were shown around by Thomas Jung, the General Manager of Winemaking, Planning and Sourcing. This winery is the third largest in Australia. It's one of the most technologically advanced wineries in Australia that as part of Australian Vintage has undergone some major capital expenditure over the last three years. Now we've currently have a permanent workforce of about 105 to 110 permanent staff and then that number goes up by 60 to 80 um, seasonal casuals that we bring in to help us deal with the vintage and harvest workload. The capacity of the winery is about 150 um, thousand tonnes of grapes in terms of processing and crush capacity. All our processing is here in-house. Out of the, the Australian Vintages portfolio, we produce about 95% of our total volume here at Baronga Hill. And that will increase a little further next year with the introduction of our super premium winemaking facility. The Super Premium Winery is one of our most recent capital projects and investments into the, the Sunraysia region. This will be a two and a half thousand tonne um, Super Premium processing facility, really using what we call old world technology, but with a new world technology and automation component. So it's going to be quite an exciting transition for us. And we're now at a point where you know, we want to take full control of our winemaking process again and the introduction of super premiums into this larger Baronga Hill winery is quite exciting for us because it's a winery within a winery, um, staffed with its own people, so pretty exciting for us. Uh, solar, we've currently got um, about 1.65 megawatts of solar electricity here, currently producing about 30% of our annual electricity. We've recently entered two agreements for uh, the purchase of um, green energy, both solar and wind. They were the first large-scale electricity contracts um, um, of that nature um, in Australia. We've got a pretty large vineyard and grape supply base for us here in Toboronga. Next season onwards, we'll have all our super premium grapes coming into here as well. So Barossa Valley, Eden Valley, Adelaide Hills, um, Coonawarra, Langon Creek, four super premiums. And then our commercial grape supply was predominantly Sunraysia, Griffiths and the Riverland. Being able to um, support capital investment in vineyards flowing through the production and now more recently into Mervain, our bottling facility near new state of the art 11 million dollar packaging facility allows us to really push wine quality as a company we want to produce the best quality wines that we can and the ability to be able to now complete that loop from vineyard production to packaging fast is phenomenal 